Thanks for tuning in. This is another quick video on the X1 Carbon Gen 9 on the left and the P14S Gen 2 on the right. I bought these laptops because I was in the market for a machine to replace my P50 that I've had for a very long time. I wanted another ThinkPad that I can have for another six years as I've had my P50 for six years. And both of these machines were on my shortlist. I wasn't able to find enough content out there researching. And so I made videos or making these videos to help anybody that's in the market to figure out what's the best choice for them. In the prior video that I made about these two machines, I didn't get to show the past mark readings. Uh, for anybody that's curious, and these are the, some of the readings, overall, as you see, the numbers are incrementally favoring the X1, primarily because of this blue slot here on the left. The P14 has a slightly lower score, despite it having a ThinkPad, I'm sorry, NVIDIA graphics card within it. The CPU score, surprisingly, is higher on the uh, P14S Gen 2. Uh, and this has been consistently this way for a reason I don't know, despite it being the same exact Intel i7 11th gen CPU inside both of them. The 2D graphics bench is where the X1 beats out the, uh, the P14, and you can hopefully see the numbers a little bit better with this particular view. And on the 3D mark, you will see that the P14 is a little bit better, uh, primarily thanks to that NVIDIA graphics card that's present inside of it. Uh, incrementally better is also the memory mark. Uh, and initially this numbers varied a little bit. Uh, and I, my suspicion was the 16 gigs of soldered RAM inside the P14, I'm sorry, the X1 made that difference. However, in later testing, it's better favoring the P14, which is kind of surprising since this is soldered. 16 gigs and this is 8 gigs soldered, 8 gigs free slot, um, and T500 NVIDIA graphics card, uh, Intel XE graphics card only on the uh, X1, um, T500 being on the P14S Gen 2. Now, what's consistently been better on the P14 is the Toshiba SSD that's inside of here as a, as a component. Both of these have a terabyte of storage. However, this one has a much better uh, drive inside of it and we can look at the components really quickly for a minute for anybody that's curious on uh, what's inside this machine. And I intend to keep this video very brief for anybody that's curious on these particular attributes. Um, component wise, you see same type of uh, CPU. Um, RAM is identical, as I said, two slots versus one 16 uh, soldered and the physical drive, the Toshiba is leading to this high performance compared to that 20,000 rating on the X1, which is the Western Digital uh, card, uh, sorry, the drive. Other than that, nothing to particularly highlight other than the P14, which is on the left, having the NVIDIA graphics card, which is not present on the X1, as I shared previously. Uh, beyond that, these are both very solid machines, very lightweight. Anybody that's in the market for a very lightweight machine might consider the X1 as their primary choice because it is, I think, in, in its class, the lightest machine that exists. This is 0.75 pounds heavier. However, based on, you know, as you saw these readings, it was a little bit cheaper um, after getting some discounts and just overall, this was custom build. This was like ready to ship. This was a custom build. You can get the 16 gig ready to ship models also. Uh, I wanted a 32, but I didn't want to wait for 14 months. I'm sorry, four months to get the delivery. And uh, that's what ended up here. Uh, if you didn't watch the other video, my conclusion and my assessment was I'll end up keeping the P14S Gen 2. And you can watch that other video to find out why. Um, and I'm making another video on keyboard reviews between all these machines. So tune in for that. This is the W520 keyboard on the bottom, which is the last keyboard of its kind the P50 keyboard, a replacement of, and I'll take a look at these keyboards and see how they stack up if you're curious, especially if you're in the market looking at coming from an existing ThinkPad to one of either of these machines, you might be curious about keyboards and tune in for that. Hopefully you found this helpful watching. Uh, if you're curious about specs and performance, you can't go wrong with either machine. However, if you wanted um, a slightly better experience, perhaps better value, Definitely look into the P14S as I am uh, and hopefully settling on this. If you want true portability, X1 might be the choice for you. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.